All right, so here we go. Um, we're gonna start off with the head, and um, as you know, the radical comes in four different variations. There's a G10 LT, a G10 HD, a carbon fiber LT, and a carbon fiber HD. And what those two, the LT and HD, are for is the different heads that are on these uh, uh, helicopters as well. The the LTs is a lighter head. It's like a, more like a 50 size head, like the Raven and the Hawks. And then the uh, HD is more like the uh, the Predator heads. It actually is pretty much a Predator head. And basically, the the main difference is the differences between these two heads are pretty much right in the blade grips. Um, after you get to the seesaw and the fly bar cage, everything from them down is all the same for the most part, except for the main shafts. But everything up up at the top, the these this is the HD rotor head block. This is the LT rotor head block. You see, there's significant size difference, and we got different blade grips here. This is the LT, this is the HD. You know, obviously bigger blade grips. You're, you're gonna run into needing spacers with these HD grips, so uh, keep that in mind if you order the HD that most uh, 620 and thereabouts blades are gonna need uh, blade washers to, to fill in the spaces. Then you got differences in the uh, the bearings obviously stack out different because the LT has a seven millimeter main shaft. The HD has an eight millimeter main shaft. So obviously that's going to make your bearings and thrust bearings and everything different, and, and as well. So, and then also the next difference is the LT has the the normal Raven mixer arms. They're plastic, but the HD has some CNC adjustable uh, mixing arms, so you can get adjustable ratios up at the top of the head. So you know those are the main differences. I'm going to be building up the LT version, and then. Uh, you know, we well. I'll go ahead and build the uh, HD. I'll put the blade grips and everything on maybe uh, if I have time, and then uh, we'll go from there. But as I said, I'm going to build mine up with the LT head, and later I may even put these uh, CNC mixer arms on the LT head to give me that adjustable mixing ratio. So let's go ahead and uh, do that, and once we get those built up, we'll come back and talk about it. All right. Now let me zoom in a little bit here. It looks a little small. These are the uh, seesaws attached now. So uh, as you can see, and they're pretty much the same. I did find out I was wrong. There is one difference between these two seesaws, and that is this spacer right here is different between the HD and the LT head, obviously because they're different size uh, heads. You know, the mast is a little thicker and wider around on the uh, HD head. So that's that's the seesaws completed on there. I'm going to go ahead and do the blade grips next and you know put the blade grips bearings in the grips and, and whatnot and then go ahead and attach them to the spindle and put them through there uh, because uh, that way I don't have to swing the fly bar around all over the place. And you're going to want to make sure you pack your uh, <coughs> your thrust bearings with grease and you know, make sure you get your thrust bearings on right. One thrust bearing has a larger ID than the other one, and that larger ID goes in towards the center of the head first, so it goes on first. And make sure you just put the uh, open end of the uh, race, the ball race, towards the inside of the head too. That way when you pack them with the grease, you won't have the, uh, the grease come flinging out the first time you spool up. And you know, just make sure you look at the manual to see the the order of how to put everything in there you know it's clearly laid out just make sure you do it the right way so I'm gonna go ahead and get the blade grips put on these and then we'll move on a couple other things to note while you're putting this head together the uh, the kit comes with these red dampers and those are a softer damper but they also in the addendums have these black dampers that if you're gonna fly harder 3d or whatever so you want the harder dampers in there you can go ahead and use those. Um, I only have one set of them, so I'm going to use those with my LT head. I'm not going to put them into my HT head for now. But uh, so make sure you do that, and you know, just I don't grease mine. I just put them in dry and lock them down, and then make sure when you uh, are putting these together that you lock tight these bolts on the HD head when you uh, secure them to the feathering shaft on the uh, H on the LT head. They're nylocks, so you don't need to uh, put any lock tight on those. The 
But other than that, we'll go ahead and go back and get it put together. One other thing to note too, uh, when you're putting this together, there's shims that you're going to put on between the uh, dampers and the uh, the blade grips. And they give you, looks like, two of the larger ones and then four of some smaller ones. So when you're, uh, you, you may have to adjust it, you know, you may only need two on one side, two on a side or three on a side or whatever. You just, after you get it together, just check the, before you thread lock the, the bolts in there, you know, go ahead and tighten them down and uh, make sure you're not getting any binding in the head. And if there is, then you might want to remove one of those shims or whatever. So uh, go ahead and make sure you pay attention to that as you're putting these together.